Hey Divas, hope you are all doing great and today I will do the review of Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I got two shades here 312 and 320 and I think these shades will be perfect for medium to tan skin tone. I will try them out as well. So I am going to share all of its detail now. Coming to the packaging, it is very nice and sleek. I really love the packaging. It feels very strong and the quality is really great. The price is $11.99 and you get 30 ml of product in it. It is available in 24 shades. It has got a palm. So now I'll go ahead and try those and share my thoughts with you. I'm going to try this shade 312 Golden Door. So I'm going to try both the shades on my cheeks and you can see how it looks on me. So if you are someone uh, who are who is of uh, my skin tone um, then it will be helpful for you to decide like which shade to get i'm going to pump a little tiny amount just to uh, try it on my face if you want to test some foundation shades if it is the right match for you try them here so let me put that here and now i'm going to try the shade 320 honey nail M I E L Miel Mel. So since I got the shades online, so I did not know my correct match. So I got two shades, uh, which were very near to my skin tone, and I thought at least one of these two will be my perfect match, or some, uh, or one can be my summer uh, foundation, other one can be my winter foundation if it is a bit light or darker. So this one is a bit darker then and i'm able to see up close and i feel this one is a correct match for me this one uh, has a bit more uh, it it looks a bit more peachy and a uh, little more orangey for my skin tone i'm going to apply this Maybe I, I can like blend both of this. I can apply a little bit of this on the outer edges and this one on the center so that it gives a natural like contour. If I use two shades of foundations like that, so I can use it like that. I'm going to apply 312 on my face. taking my makeup sponge to blend it in and I like this way of application and note that I have taken a very small amount of the foundation I'm not at all going heavy handed if needed I will just layer on to build coverage but I like a light layer of foundation so that it looks natural and before my foundation I had only applied my moisturizer no primer on my skin so far I'm happy with the coverage I have here uh, I am able to see uh, some of my previous like uh, pimple marks uh, since I went for small uh, smaller amount of product and a lighter layer so it gives a natural look to the skin you can still see your imperfections but uh, it does make the face look a bit more like flawless and it gives a nice uh, like finish overall and it definitely minimizes the pores it fills in the pores so that's why i did not use a primer because uh, i had already used it uh, two or three times before and every time i've noticed it fills the pores if it gives the skin a smoother look so you normally uh, so with this you don't need a primer at all like a pore filling primer because it itself fills your pores and makes the skin look smoother so if you want to see how much more coverage it can give i'll go for one more layer and uh, to show you since it's a full coverage foundation uh, you definitely want to see uh, how full coverage it is second layer you can see how it looks 
and I'm pretty happy with the coverage. It definitely has covered all my like small small uh, pimple acne mark and no doubt my skin looks more smoother and it has a very like uniform uh, feel to it. I need to blend a little bit on the nose. My nose is like a weird part. On the sides it's dry, on the center is oily. So I'm just dabbing and pressing to set the product in. That motion kind of sets and locks the product in my skin and it looks more natural rather than just the swiping motion. So this is a heavier, definitely this is a heavier foundation like the consistency is very thick. So you need to blend it in properly, you need to like uh, so that it looks as if a part of your skin. So I will give you a closer look. Now it's summer, I've got a tan. So I kind of mix this too. I use the lighter one in the center of my face and the darker one uh, at the periphery or the sides So here I will show you how it oxidizes. So some shades are freshly applied, some are already dry and you can see the difference in the color shade. So if you want you can go a shade lighter but on me, on my face I did not see much difference. So here I will show you the wet test and I tried it for 8 to 12 hours on different days and at the end of the day I felt it stayed on really nicely, it did not fade away and my makeup looked flawless as well. After a few hours my t-zone became little oily and I did little touch up to rectify it. Overall I like how it feels on my skin, makes it look smoother, gives great full coverage and my makeup lasts all day. If you want an affordable foundation like this, do check this out, it's a great option. And I hope you liked my review video, if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up so I can do more review videos like this. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more videos from me. And thanks for watching guys. I will see you soon with my next video. Bye-bye.